Our next guest says the big risk for the markets could be so-called boomflation. I like that name. I like our next guest. Michael Antonelli is Managing Director and Market Strategist at Baird. It has a nice ring to it, Michael. What is boomflation? Uh, Amber, yeah, it's, it's an interesting term, something I'm thinking about. When you think about inflation as a whole, you say, you know, what's causing it? Was it due to supply chain problems? Was it due to too much demand, right? There's always this kind of notion of what's driving inflation. If if, if we do get a pickup in the economy and that Atlanta Fed GDP number is just a, just a now cast, right? It's not a forecast. So it's just kind of looking at the world as it exists right now. Boomflation would be this notion that the economy really starts to accelerate. And even though we've repaired some of our supply chains, demand starts to continue to rise. So this is really the demand side, right? Demand, demand stays strong, the economy starts to pick up, and you get kind of a, a resurgence. You get a resurgence in energy prices. You get a resurgence in real estate prices. You get this resurgence of inflation. It's, it's, it's definitely something that's on my mind. Uh, boomflation would be, again, this just demand just keeps going higher as the economy in the U.S. picks up. What is that going to mean, then, for markets? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's really, you're seeing that expressed in U.S. Treasury yields right now. You're seeing that expressed in our yield market. That's why the 10-year and the five-year all start creeping up. Boomflation might mean that the Fed would still have to hike. You don't see that in the prediction markets. You don't see any expectations of another hike right now. But as this data evolves, you would start to see it be expressed there. But So I think in terms of the stock market, boomflation, you, you would see yields go higher. And then you'd start to see sectors like energy start to do well again, right? You'd, you'd start to see those sectors where people would express a view about inflation continuing to perk up. And so when in, in this yield environment, say we stay around 4%, we creep up a little higher. Is that really difficult environment for tech to continue to outperform? It probably is on a whole, but maybe not at a company level. There's there's stocks in the in the AI sector or in the AI world that could probably do well. Maybe manufacturing, semiconductor manufacturing. There are stocks that would do well regardless of uh, kind of the outlook for rates or, or or growth or tech as a whole. But it would definitely put uh, it would definitely put a headwind into the market, and you're seeing that, Amber. We saw that the triple Qs, the Nasdaq sector, has taken this big pause, and really we need to be asking ourselves: Is this big pause start of something more? Is it start of something bigger? And that's what's on my mind primarily right now. And then where the dollars go after? You mentioned the energy sector is certainly caught in a bid um, on the back of higher oil prices. Are you kind of a buyer of this rotation that's taking place away from tech and into sectors like energy, financials? Yeah, that's what we do want to be watching. We, we want to kind of watch the tech sector versus, say, energy. We want the tech sector versus staples. We want to see if that rotation is something bigger, right? Is it the start of a bigger correction or is it just kind of profit taking? We've come so far so fast. Uh, yeah, energy would be one sector that I would continue to watch versus tech. Uh, another one would be financials. Are people looking at financials? Are they are they are they interested in moving their profits from that sector to a to a more more challenged sector? Uh, and then you know I, I certainly would be looking at defensive stocks like utilities too. Are people moving into there from tech? So I really want to I want to measure tech versus everything. I want to see where is the money going to know if I should be worried or not, whether it's just profit taking or whether it's something bigger. I think that's great. Let's do tech versus retail because tech earnings were used as an excuse to sell. Retail earnings are being viewed as an uh, excuse to buy, even though, I mean, they're really not that great. Uh, Target yeah. is a perfect example of that. But even Home Depot yesterday, the reaction was the stock went up uh, 1%. Target, the yeah. stock's going up about 5 6%. As it, it's bouncing off a three-year low. Yeah, expectations in those names were really bad. I mean, it, we all saw Target's report this morning. The fact that the stock's up means expectations were, were much worse. I think Home Depot and Target, some of these retailers who are, who are great companies, right? These are good companies. Uh, I think they're struggling with maybe a macro view that didn't evolve as, like they thought. Maybe they thought recession was coming, so they de-stocked. Or maybe they thought that a certain consumer would, would struggle this year, and they didn't. So I think some of these companies might be caught a little bit uh, offsides in terms of their view of the world and how it's evolving. Um, but again, U.S. companies are good at adapting. Now, there's, there's, there's no doubt that they're good at adapting and good at making money. So, so I, uh, you know, while they face their issues, I do, like you said, want to look at tech versus retail. I do want to see where this money is going. Is it go Walmart? You know, is it going to Walmart? Is it mm -hmm. going to Starbucks? Is it going to Costco? Is this money leaving tech for another sector? I don't see that just yet, Amber. I, I don't see the this as the start of something bigger. But I, I will say, everybody listening, just you need to be watching 
you know, discretionary versus staples. You need to be watching tech versus retail. Are these things moving significantly in those directions, or is this just seasonal weakness? Is it just something we would expect to see? It sounds like you don't have an answer yet. Well, I, 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 at this point, I think it's pretty – like, again, we're up 15% year-to-date, down from plus 18, so we're still pretty strong in the U.S. I don't think the answer is there yet. It seems like a normal seasonal correction to me right now.